The internet is great. We use it daily to read blogs, news, watch videos. Now we also surf the net with tablets or even with smartphones checking Twitter as we wait for the next train. This is amazing. We are connected permanently. But, and there is always a but, we are more exposed to threats and dangers than ever. Viruses, worms, data thieves and crackers are just some examples. The question is, how can we protect ourselves against these threats? Total security is impossible, we know that. But if we learn some basics about computer security, we can protect ourselves better from possible attacks. Let's see the main four principles of computer security that help us to be safer. First principle, protect information integrity. Before explaining this concept, let's see a story about George and Joanne. Joanne is checking her email since she is expecting a message from George, her boyfriend. When she opens it up, she finds something she really didn't expect. Why on earth did she receive such a message? Let's see what really happened. George is totally in love with Joanne. Suddenly, he's inspired to write her an original, well, to write her a message. George sends his email, but how unlucky, his message is intercepted by a cracker. The cracker is very bored and decides to modify George's message before resending it to Joanne. And you already know the rest of the story. Joanne doesn't know that the message has been modified by another person and she is very angry and wants to split up with George. This is an example of data integrity alteration. The modified information can be a text, an image as the one you see in your screen, a file. If you receive this image, you think that it is the same one that the sender attached. But it could happen that the sender attached this image, but you received this one. You'll probably think that this is the original image that was sent to you. When somebody modifies data without authorization or permission, we say that the data integrity has been altered, either because of some modification or because of some deletion. A possible solution for George and Joanne consists of using an email client such as Thunderbird instead of using a webmail interface. This way, George could digitally sign his messages. This is something similar to seal an envelope with wax. If you send your message and somebody who is not authorized opens it, the receiver will notice that the message was read and might have been altered. The second principle of computer security is guarantee data confidentiality. Before explaining its meaning, we'll first see another story. George convinces Joan not to split up with him. He goes to visit her and brings her a surprise. He wanted to send it by email, but after all the fuss about the email incident, he prefers to go in person. But George has a bad day and he loses his pen drive. After a while, a man sees it and picks it up. He goes home and once there, hmm, let's see what we have here. Okay, which one of these folders would you check first? Exactly, the photos folder which is what the man chooses. He finds out a photo session of George as a special gift for Joanne. The man can't help laughing about this funny situation. Well, funny for him, but not for George or Joanne, the only ones that had to see these pictures. Let's talk now about confidentiality. In a communication, the sender sends a message to the receiver through a channel. That message could be intercepted by a third person. But if the sender encrypts the message, the interceptor will get the text with no meaning and almost impossible to decode. That is confidentiality when only authorized people have access to private data. And encryption is one of the widest methods used to assure this privacy. In our case, the solution is so simple as using software to encrypt and decrypt the information. TrueCrypt is a free open source disk encryption software for Windows, Mac, and Linux that allows easily to protect your data. The third principle of computer security is assure resources availability. 
and these resources can be hardware, such as hard disk, or software, such as files, folders, or applications. Suppose that we have a web server with an online store working 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Everything is going well, and the company is earning money, and customers are satisfied. Until one day, the server's hard disk fails, and the online store stops working. Suddenly, a resource isn't available. Suddenly, customers can't buy and start complaining, and the company loses money and credibility. This is something similar to when you are hungry and want some cookies. You look for the jar of cookies, and there are always cookies. And if you run out of cookies, then your mother appears with more cookies to fill the jar and your belly. That is availability. You have cookies whenever you want them. In computer security, availability refers to the fact of having access to your resources whenever you need them. Again, the solution is rather simple. Instead of using just one hard disk, we use two disks in a redundant storage system called RAID 1. With RAID 1, everything in the first disk is duplicated in the second one. If a hard disk fails, the system has the other one with all the data to run the server. Customers will continue buying things because the web server will still be available and the company won't lose money. And the last principle we'll see of computer security is establish non-repudiation mechanisms. The last story is about two friends talking by Skype, George and Sarah. George is inviting Sarah to come to a party at his place. Every guest will bring something and George tells Sarah to bring beer. Sarah agrees and says that she will bring lots of beer. The next day, Sarah arrives at the party empty-handed. Then George asks, where is the beer? And Sarah replies, beer? You didn't tell me anything about beer. George gets angry because Sarah is lying, but he cannot prove that he said to her to bring beer. When someone participates in a transaction and denies something that happened in that transaction, he is repudiating part of the communication. In the picture, the man on the left lies to the other one denying some order he received. The man on the right suspects something, but he cannot prove anything. In computer security, no repudiation is a mechanism to guarantee that every participant in a transaction cannot deny what he sent or received. A bill is an example of no repudiation. If you pay for a product and get the bill, you can prove that you paid for it showing the bill. In computer technology, it is also interesting to have non-repudiation mechanisms. For example, if somebody modifies a document and then says, I didn't do it, you need some way to prove that he really modified that document. In our story, the solution is use WhatsApp instead of Skype. With WhatsApp, you have all the sentences you exchange with other people. When you send a message in WhatsApp, first a clock appears, that means I am sending your message to the WhatsApp servers. Then a tick appears and that means the message just arrived to the WhatsApp servers. Finally, when a double tick appears means the message has been delivered to the recipient. That is a proof that the message arrived and is a non-repudiation mechanism. Moreover, if the recipient sends you back a written confirmation such as no worries mate, I'll bring beer for everybody then you have even more proofs in the case he arrives at your party empty-handed. To sum up, we just learned four of the computer security principles. Integrity, confidentiality, availability, and non-repudiation.